Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about how to enable HTTPS in admin console using self-signed certificates. The agenda of this video is to see what is HTTPS enabled admin console. When you can enable HTTPS, then we will create Tomcat key store using the key tool utility and we'll list the content of the same. After that, we'll enable Informatica admin console to be HTTPS enabled using the command line. Then we'll see a quick demo on the same. So what is HTTPS ad enabled admin console? So when the admin console is HTTPS enabled, all the requests processing through the same will be encrypted. So you must update all the gateway nodes in the domain with the property for secure communication between the browser and the Informatica administrator service. So when do we actually enable HTTPS? So we can enable HTTPS in the below ways. So which is first, which is uh, while installing the power center. So in the screenshot you can see you will get an option of enabling HTTPS while you are installing power center or you can also do it anytime after the installation is complete. So in this video we will be talking about enabling the HTTPS after you have installed the power center. So creating Tomcat key store using the key tool utility. So the initial step is to create the key store file. So while creating the same, we have to pass values like CN, OU, OL, SNC. So all these values we'll be discussing in this demo session in detail. You need to make sure that the value you are providing for CN should be either the host name of the server in fully qualified or just the host name depending upon how exactly you want to access your admin console URL. After this, we'll be generating a self-signed certificate using the RSA algorithm and then we'll add it to the key store file which we have generated in the initial step. Then we'll see the content of this key store. Once we are ready with the key store file and the self-signed certificate, we'll go ahead and enable HTTPS for admin console. So we just need to copy our key store file into info home tomcat conf directory after we have added the self-signed certificate into our key store. We need to shut down our node and then we need to update our gateway node using the command info setup command which is update gateway node. We need to provide all the mandatory details like HTTPS port, the key store file location and the key store password. So hyphen HS will be the option for HTTPS port and hyphen KF will be for the key store path and hyphen KP will be used for the key store password. So once you update this, you can go ahead and restart your node. Once you restart your node, you will see that your HTTP your admin console will be HTTPS enabled. So now we'll go ahead and see the demo of the same. So we are going to see this demo in the power center version 10.4, which is installed on Linux machine. So let's proceed. So this is my admin console where I'll be going to enable HTTPS. So currently you can see that it is not secure and even HTTPS is not enabled. So let me go to my Linux box. So before we enable HTTPS and generate our key stores and all, we have to shut down our domain. So I'll just proceed with the with shutting down of my Informatica services. So we see that our Informatica services are stopped now. Now we will go ahead and create our key store. 
so the first step involves creation of the key store file so for that we'll be using the key tool utility so i'm using gen key command here i'm providing the alias as, as tomcat and i'm using rsa algorithm and then the key size i'm giving as 2048 and the validity is 1000 and then the key store name i'm giving as tomcat.keystore once i enter this it will ask for the password so i am providing change it so once we provide the password it will ask for your organization so you need to provide your server details so for me it is vento so i'm doing the same then it will ask for the organizational unit you can provide all these details as per your organization so i'll provide info here and then in the city i am providing redwood city so state i'm providing california and then a country is us and then it will ask whether all these details are correct or not so i just need to say yes once i say yes it will again ask for the password so you need to provide the password again so with this your keys key store file will be created we can just see that whether it is created or not so we see that our key store file has been created now we will go ahead and see the content of this to see the content we need to use key tool hyphen list hyphen v command and provide the same alias in the name of the key store so once you run this command it will ask for the password so once you give the password you can see the alias name the creation date of the this, uh, this key store file uh, what is the type of that then you will see the chain of the certificate since it is a self-signed certificate the owner and the issuer are same and then it will tell the serial number and it will tell the validity of this until what date it would be valid and then it will have the fingerprints so these all the details which will be available in the key store file so now we will be generating the self-signed certificates and will add the same to our tomcat key store file so for that we need to use this key tool command again and we need to provide the options which is self-cert because we are generating the self-signed certificate and the alias will be same as the tomcat then we need to provide the algorithm which we are using and then we need to provide the key store password and the store pass which is change it in my case and then we need to provide all the de details related to whatever we have provided for the key store which is uh, cnou like all the organizational unit details whatever we would be providing in the earlier step so now i'll go ahead and run this okay so with this it is added let me just check that so now we will again list the content of this tomcat key store i'll give the password so now you will see the different serial number and the different fingerprints here because the self-signed certificate has been generated and been added and has been added to this tomcat key store so now we will go ahead and uh, run the update gateway node command so i have copied my key tomcat key store file in the tomcat conf directory which is info home tomcat conf directory and then i am going to run this info setup dot sh update gateway node command from the isp bin directory so the arguments i have provided is the hyphen dn which is the domain name hyphen hs which will be the https port and then kf which is nothing but the location of my tomcat key store and then i have provided the key store password so let me quickly run this okay we see that the command is successful now so now i'll go ahead and uh, start my informatica services before this you can just open your browser and clear the cache and all the history so that whenever we launch this it will not have any other issues so i'll just start my node
okay so looks like the services have been started now we'll go to our so now i have launched my internet explorer and i am mentioning the url so this url is not the https one but we are providing only the http url so once we run this we will see that it is automatically automatically redirected to the https url so here you will see this message that uh, the site is not secured and then it will ask to uh, go to this page which is not recommended so this kind of messages indicates that uh, the certificates which we are using for this has not been added in the trust store of the browser so this will be taking it in a separate uh, video uh, where we, where i'll tell you how to debug such issues so with this we see that uh, our uh, admin console has been successfully https enabled now i will see uh, show the same in the chrome as well so in the chrome also i'm providing the same http url so once i press enter it will be automatically redirecting to the https uh, url so with this we see that our https is enabled in the, even in the chrome but we see this not secured option here as well so to remove this we have a certain set of things which we can debug on uh, so as i mentioned it will be taken up into the next week next upcoming videos with this we finish our demo session you can refer to our knowledge base articles and command reference guide the link for both of them is given in the slide we would love to hear from you you can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on infosupport thank you so much for your time